I've used this technique for a while where I'll start a drawing with like a random word or some kind of random phrase or prompt. And then instead of drawing literally what the prompt is, I'll make shapes out of the letter forms. Connect lines and start to draw something a little silly or a little abstract. Um, and it usually frees up my brain to kind of just see visual shapes and get away from their meaning. And then at the end of that, I'll redraw some of those segments a little bit better, free from the original line constraints. And it's a great way to come up with like interesting character designs or interesting illustration ideas. little guy I like his little scared expression and his hunched over back I like this guy too with his little beard not really sure what's going on here almost like a turkey beak nose kind of thing so I redrew him changed up where that ring is maybe it's a, maybe it's a bump I don't know I don't like that um, this guy Played around with his hair and his collar idea a little bit more. It seems like I moved away from his head shape that I liked in this one, which was this short sort of, you know, based on D, so it has like a nice slope down there. I was at Target the other day and I noticed that Crayola makes this like higher end line of markers, it seems. Um, so I decided to try them out and see if they were like, you know, professional quality. Uh, of course they're not. <laughs> um, once you start using them, I mean, they're nicer than normal Crayolas, but they they don't feel as good as like Tombow or, you know, or any, any other uh, professional art marker. Um, but they're cheap. I think this whole box was like 10 bucks.